When you want to lose weight, a majority of us turn to diets to take off the pounds, but a majority of the time, they don't work. Dr. Shiasta is here tonight to tell us why. Good evening. Good evening, Erica. Is, uh, diet doesn't work simply just uh, ask a simple question. If only one diet was working, we wouldn't have 136 million adults in our country struggling right. with weight. The reason that diet doesn't work is simply, if you look at the cycle of dieting, the first thing comes to the mind, restriction and depriving of ourselves and also tem temporary behavior changes. So when we cut down our calorie intake, well, sounds good, we lose a month, some uh, weight, right. but we cannot continue that behavior. So within a month, we change it, go back and eat the normal, all the weight comes back. When we diet simply means not eating the food that you love to eat. Well, that's not a good idea because it's going to last for a few days, a few weeks, come back and eat again. And in most cases, Erica, when we uh, diet, we are cutting down the calorie intake significantly. Mm -hmm. And that's not a good idea because body goes to the starvation mood and actually slows down the metabolism. By doing that, when the person goes back to normal eating again, their metabolism is, is actually lower than what they started. So they gain faster plus 10, 15% extra. And when you talk about the diet plans that are out there, it seems like a lot of them are built on time constraints, right? You can lose this amount of weight in this amount of time, and that's not how we should be thinking. That's absolutely an important point because that's exactly why they fail because they're reflecting a temporary behavior mm -hmm. changes, six weeks, six days, and that's why it's failed. And also, by not eating proper nutrition and well-balanced diet, Erica, blood sugar is not stabilized. Mm -hmm. Then the sugar drops so low, we become hungry and start craving. Being hungry is not a good feeling. So right. it lasts for a few days and after that people give in and go back to the old habit and then gain all the weight and start all over again. So it's a vicious cycle. One of the major reasons that is always when you talk about that, uh, uh, Erica, is it reflects the temporary behavior changes. That's why we have to change that concept that accept the diet as a lifestyle changes because when we talk about diet, it's not about eating less, but rather than eating right. Mm -hmm. Give you an example, for example, a cup of whole wheat pasta with three, four cups of steamed vegetable salad, piece of chicken breast and all the vinegar dressing on it has less calorie than one four inch cookie. Wow. So we can, actually, yeah, we can actually eat a lot of food. Two slices of a pepperoni pizza is almost 1,000 calories. But two slices of a vegetable pizza, a spinach pizza, if you tell them put one third of a cheese, drop to 400 something. Yeah. So it's not about elimination, but rather than intelligent making the right choices. And that volume will make you feel full and then you won't consume as Very many calories. Very good point because actually a human stomach does not register calorie. Right. It's register volume. Yeah. That's why salad vegetables are a good addition because it helps you satisfy. Sure. In most cases also, Erica, most diet plans do not, does not include any exercise. And I want to emphasize that without incorporation of exercise, the part of the diet and healthy eating, nobody's going to succeed. You can lose weight, but you're not going to maintain it right. and it's going to come back. And basically when we talk about diet, is you really can you know, cross that and it's about lifestyle changes. And I always emphasize that when we talk about healthy eating, it's really not really, really just a pan size issue because extra weight increased risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, inflammatory disease, uh, joint problem, sleeping problem. So it's important that we pull back and actually have a conversation with ourselves. What is in this for me? How can I change my blood pressure? How can I feel better? How can I look good, better about myself? It really, that's the reason that to change the lifestyle changes. And all these changes, whether it's nutrition, should be for life rather than, as you mentioned, this temporary thing. And we talk about things being in moderation, how much you eat, how much you exercise. And I think that also goes into losing weight, right? We have to kind of give up this idea of the instant gratification of I can lose 10 pounds in one month, but instead say I can slowly take off the weight and keep it off. Absolutely. When you incorporate this behavior as a part of lifestyle changes, it becomes part of you. In other words, it's not about eliminating chocolates or cookies and no. Chocolate and cookie can be part of the healthy eating. Elimination doesn't work. Depriving yourself doesn't work. The best thing is accept as a lifestyle changes and every single food, Erica, has a place in our diet. Nothing should be eliminated. Just intelligently making those choices along with physical activity. Everybody can enjoy yeah. a good mind and body. Absolutely. Good advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and if you have any other questions that you'd like to ask Dr. Shiesa, you can contact him. The number there on your screen, that first consultation is always free. And of course, if you missed this segment or you'd like to watch it again, it's available on our website, wkbn.com.